a heartwarming moment decades overdue. Now she's coming out here and this is going to be their first time ever meeting. Uh, she's 84, he is 87. Grant's past man, Jack Sanders, says he was one of the thousands of children adopted out by the infamous Georgia Tan. My brother's wife called him and uh, he happened to have a letter and, and a phone number for uh, Shirley in uh, Detroit or we never would have found them. According to the Washington Post, Georgia Tan was responsible for placing 5,000 children into adopted homes out of the Tennessee Children's Home Society. Unsolved Mysteries says Tan used to take children from playgrounds, public parks, and hospitals, where she either convinced parents or the state to sign custody to the nonprofit. Sanders' daughter, Cherie Craddock, says his mother was coerced into signing away her rights while still in the hospital post-childbirth. We found out that his mother really didn't want to give him up, that she was forced into giving uh, Georgia Tan the baby. In 1950, prosecutor Robert Taylor began investigating the children's home's adoptions. He found out Tan received more than a million dollars for adoptions, nearly $10 million in today's money. Taylor says most of the money came from interstate adoptions to high-profile individuals, including Joan Crawford. Three days after the findings of Taylor's investigation were brought to the court, Tan died of cancer. Cherie says through DNA testing, the family was able to track down other members of their family as well. We did Ancestry DNA and we found his biological father's side to start with. Though other siblings have passed before ever having the chance to meet, Sanders says it's great to finally meet his sister after all these years. And we knew he was out there somewhere, we were hoping, but we just didn't, didn't, we didn't know how to get in touch or even find him or had no clue. Yeah. They found us.